Hey, Cam, can you take us through your performance in Seattle and what it was like for you to, to have such a big game on such a big stage? Uh, well, I think, you know, it start up front with our offensive line. You know, those guys were getting great movement all day. And um, um, that was a, a clear reflection of the, the run game. You know, it doesn't go without those guys. You know, I can I can do um, only so much, you know, by myself. So, you know, those guys are, are the missing piece and, and they did what they were supposed to do all day. And that was a reflection of the run game. And then what's it like knowing that you're going to go to Lambeau Field to, to play a playoff game? Has that ever been something you thought of as a kid? Uh, definitely, definitely is. Uh, it's just a blessing to be able to be in this position, you know, um, to be able to go play with these guys with this team and uh, go try to win the playoff game, you know, ultimately get to the next step. Stu? Just what did it mean to you to not only have the performance that you did, like Lindsay kind of mentioned, but also just to be – uh, in the franchise record books, I think you were the, I believe the record was you were the first, you're the first, first rookie to have over 100 rushing yards in a playoff game. Just does the significance of that mean anything to you at all? Uh, definitely, you know, can't do nothing but thank God. Like I said, you know, um, thank God for the opportunity um, for allowing me to go out and do that. And, you know, um, us going to try to do it again, you know, this upcoming week. You can't get um, comfortable, you know, staying days on top of set, weeks on top of each other, not days. Maria? When we talk about fast starts and how important that is, you were able to keep the energy up through the whole game in Seattle, especially when it got a little chaotic with the quarterbacks. How did you do, how did you do that? Uh, just being with what our team need me to be when they need me to be, uh, that guy. Uh, just when my number called, making a play, you know, um, and I was having that mindset of making a play, you know, making a big play, wanting to make that big play for the team, you know, just always having that dog. The dog mindset, that that score mentality, and you know, it it, it pays off. It pays off. Jordan. Hey Cam, I feel like I check in with you about this every couple of weeks, but your season has been so tumultuous, just up and down. So many things that you have battled through and worked through um, to continue to to strive for consistency here. Have you been able to reflect on this as a big picture yet? Have you taken that time for yourself? And and if so, what is your takeaway from everything you've been through from the moment you arrived on campus to now? Uh, I'm still learning, you know, I'm still taking taking things away uh, day by day, every day, you know, and I'm just, just putting them in my pocket, you know, just trying to learn and, and grow, you know, each day. Could you ever have imagined um, as many ups and downs in a in a first season and then, you know, the highs are so high and the lows are have been really painful for you at times? Uh, I couldn't have imagined, you know, um, as many ups and downs, you know, I guess you can with Corona, but, you know, um, just just being able to navigate our way through this season and then still get to the playoffs, still be productive, you know, um, everybody obviously wasn't able to, so, you know, it just shows a testament to our team's focus and, and just commitment to, to winning. Kevin? Hey Cam, what kind of experience do you have playing in really cold weather? It's supposed to be in the 20s. There might be snow on the ground when you land. I don't have that much experience playing in cold weather, but um, I, it won't make a difference. You know, I'm going to take the bullets thrown at us and we're going to keep rolling, you know? Say that that last part again? Take the bullets thrown at us and keep rolling. And is that something the team is, is talking about or are you talking about how to suit up for 25-degree uh, weather? Uh, no, that's that's something that they can mess with your mental if you let it. You know, we just want to play football. Gary? In that kind of um, weather and, and with a game that we're running games, the running game could be really important. Um, how much of your focus is going to be on ball security um, this week in preparation for it and, and also during that game? Uh, that's always the focus. You know, we, we focus on that every week. You know, um, ball security is the number one priority. That's the team's livelihood. livelihood and, you know, we want to take care of. Anyway. Is there anything that you can do? I don't know uh, to emphasize it even more, or to make sure that uh, that you don't, you know, have any fumbles. Um, just do what I always do. Don't overthink it. You know, um, don't don't let the cold get to you know get in my head and make me think it's harder to hold the ball with it because it's not. You know, still, still football. We'll wrap up with Stacy, Greg, and then Emmanuel, please. Hey, Cam. It's Stacy Dales with the NFL Network. Um, my question for you, you've gotten one playoff game under your belt now. What is the biggest message from some of the veteran players on your roster that have a bunch of playoff experience that they are delivering to both yourself and some of the younger players? Yeah, I would say the biggest one is just don't get comfortable. You know, um, that was just one game, obviously. It was a big game, but... The next one is even bigger. So, you know, you want to go out, well, come out and prepare this week 
even even with more detail, more focus than we did last week. So, you know, just it's not getting comfortable and, and, and keeping our foot on the gas. Cam, you played in that Florida State Notre Dame game two years ago, right? Yeah. That was cold. <laughs> it, was. it was like 25 degrees, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. What do you remember about that day? I scored two touchdowns. Right. <laughs> 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 Robert was just telling us about uh, how he kind of credited you for his touchdown because because the play action, because the defense was so focused on you because of everything you were doing so well last weekend. What have those receivers meant to your success as as a running back with their blocking and with the playmaking that they bring on? Uh, I think you just said it all in one sentence. They meant just like the offensive line, they play an integral part to the run game success. Um, they're more than willing every play to, to stick their nose in and block linebackers, whoever they need to and. As, as a running back group, we can be more appreciative. You know, um, the run game doesn't go without those guys. What have you seen from the uh, Texas defense on film? Uh, they, they've, been, they've been up and down. They kind of contained their county pretty well. If you see that. Um, i just seen a, a group of guys who, who fundamentally sound, you know, um, ultimately. They, they're always in the right gaps. They, they make their talent when they're there. And, um, you know, they just play good sound football. And uh, I think we'll, we'll have to come do the same.